2.6 combination of functions, composite functions. For f of x is equal to 4x minus 7 and g of x is equal to x plus 7 over 4, find the following functions. f composite g of x, okay. So what we have here is we really have f of g of x, okay. So what we do is we plug in g of x here. g of x is this, x plus 7 over 4. So it's 4 times x plus 7 over 4 minus 7. When we multiply this by 4, 4s will cancel out the numerator and the denominator, leave me x plus 7 minus 7. Those will cancel out. 7 minus 7. Um, and that'll leave me an x. Okay. Let's try the other way around. Okay, so we have g composite f of x. So we say g and we have f of x. Now what we do is we plug in the f of x there. So we plug in a 4x minus 7 there, minus 7 there equals, and what we do is we put x, which is 4x minus 7, and we say plus 7, and we put it over a 4. So if I just drop the parenthesis, you can see that the positive and negative 7s cancel out, leaving me 4x over 4. The 4s will cancel out, leaving me, whoops, leaving me just x. Okay, so it happened in both directions, and that's going to be important later on. So let's try this. So now we're going to use this, right, because we already found f composite g of x, and we know it's just equal to, whoops, we know this is just equal to x, which means this is simply going to be 9, right? And how about over here? Same kind of thing. We already know what this is. Right, the general form. So if we plug a 9 in, it just simply turns it into a 9. All right, so for f of x is equal to the square root of x and g of x equal to x plus 6, find the following functions. So we have f of g of x there. So what is g of x? Well, it looks like g of x is x plus 6. So we have square root of x plus 6 and looks like that is it. I don't really need those extra parentheses, so I'll remove those. X plus 6. There we go. Okay, what about the other one? G of f of x. Okay, so put the f of x inside there. What is f of x? Well, it looks like f of x is square root of x. So we would simply end up with square root of x plus 6. And that's it. Okay, so now, because they're asking us for specifically what happens if x is equal to 3 in this situation, we know the general form. I'll write the general form above just so you can see what it is I'm talking about. Okay, so in this case, they're asking us, well, what happens if x is equal to 3? So we have 3 plus 6, and 3 plus 6 is 9, and square root of 9 is 3. Over here, we know the uh, general form. So the square root of x plus 6, which is the square root of 3 plus 6, which does not simplify. So 